All right, today we're going to do a little more serious video about uh, how to do uh, bullnose corners uh, using the compound sliding miter saw. So I had bought uh, a bullnose tool from uh, Benchdog. It's supposed to be for, what is it here? Let's see if we can get it to focus. For a three quarter inch bullnose, you're supposed to do a five eighths uh, center in it. You're supposed to just, uh, as you can see with the tools, instructions, just kind of put this up against the corner. And uh, it fits really nicely on the corner. You will just mark a line on the inside here and there. As you can see, I've done down below. And uh, put your trim up. And then you can also use a hysteric gauge here. Just changing the uh, focus to... Uh, verify that it's a 90 degree corner. In most cases it won't be because it's up to the mudders how much uh, mud they put on the corners and uh, with a bullnose it seems that it's not going to be a, a 90 overall. So uh, I went through a couple of different trials here so we'll show you what happened uh, as I was going through. So this is uh, the first one I did using the tool. It's got a uh, moves quite a bit and it seems to be uh, touching in the center. So I wasn't quite happy with that. So I just I marked it that I did a 5 8 uh, center piece and then four 22 and a half degree angles. So this is a, a perfect 90. And if you put it in your, your square, you can verify that. So anyway, it's touching. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll play around with it a little bit. So then I did uh, four 22s, which ends up being uh, 92 degrees. So figure out how you're working there. You do 180 for a normal straight line, and then whatever you're subtracting. So if you're going to do four 23 degree quarters, you'll end up with an 88 degree corner, which is uh, less than 90. So anyway, this is uh, ends up being 92. So I was off by a lot, but it's all right. It just takes a couple minutes to figure this out. So, uh, didn't work. So I thought, all right, let's try to shrink it down. So there's the uh, 4 times 23. So when I measured this on the uh, square, it's still kind of close to 90. I didn't do a very good job of gluing it. But uh, I put it on, and I'm still bottoming out here. I don't really understand why the bullnose tool is supposed to uh, work such that that's not a problem. So I thought, all right, let's see what else we can do. So then I decided to do a half inch inside, and then four times 23. And it fits perfectly. So I'm kind of disappointed. I don't understand why the bullnose tool doesn't work from bench dog because it, it fits on the drywall. You can make your marks. Which I've done in the different corners, but uh, no success. So then it, it dawned on me that I've created these templates and only take a couple minutes each. So uh, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can just make one of these tools and uh, you can mark your lines with a pencil here and there and kind of simulate what the bench dog does. And in my case, I'll have to because. Uh, I'm using a, a half inch now instead of a five eighths uh, in the center. So, kind of surprised uh, as to what happened there. But I did have a good win here using this crazy glue with the activator. This is uh, what you can get at Home Depot at the Canadian stores. I don't know if they sell the same one in the US or not. But uh, this stuff is amazing. I've only used it once in my life. It's kind of smelly, which I'm not too much of a fan of. but. Uh, it does the job. So uh, definitely use that if you're doing quarters. Otherwise, you, I don't know how you would attach them quickly. Then for setting up the saw, this is not very good on this saw. It doesn't have detents for the 22 and a halfs. But you, in the end, you don't use them anyway. So you, if you're going to use 23s, this is a an ultraviolet light here. So uh, you kind of dial in the saw, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark it with a sharpie on the side, just draw a line across here and then I'll write 23 and then I won't need to uh, mess around with the uh, dial indicator anymore because that that's no good. It's just too small. It would need to be like a 10 inch diameter circle if it, to be a little more uh, accurate or precise. And then uh, you only set the saw once so what you do is you keep doing your bevels this way you want to change the angle of the cut you can turn it and flip the board around or flip it over so that's how you get the different uh, cuts required to make this uh, connection here so that's what I'd recommend you doing so in the end just write down what you've done make a bunch of templates mark your saw on the side so it can be repeatable and uh, should be able to go through a house. You probably don't have too many outside bullnose corners in a house. I've probably got half a dozen of them in my home on the, the three floors. So uh, easy to, to pound them out. So I wouldn't recommend spending the time or the money to uh, obtain one of these in my case. Like they do have a neat idea there where you can take two of them and go across a, a corner, like a long wall rather, and have something to measure off of. But in my case, uh, I won't be able to use that because I ended up having to do half inch centers. Stair gauge here is interesting. I think I'd rather just have a digital angle finder, but they end up being too long in most cases, so you can't stick them in the corner. So, uh, anyway, I thought I'd just do a quick video. Other than that, I've just been learning how to use the, the new saw here. And it, it seems to work on the slide. I was kind of worried it might bend and give you a a goofy corner but uh, it seems to be working out I think with a little bit of filler and a bit of paint you'd be good to go and with a bit more experience you could probably do uh, bare trim as well if you're going to do a stain grade so I'm pretty happy with that you can see uh, got my little vacuum down here some of the stuff doesn't make it into the vacuum but I've done a few cuts and my, my speakers aren't making a total mess as of yet so uh, just a bit of practice today, and I'll start pounding out the rest of the trim there another day. But uh, thank you. Hopefully this uh, can save you some time and some money and get you to uh, tackle those bullnose corners.